Who are you? Why are you here? Could ask you the same. Places like this, usually home to necrophages alone. They're corpse eaters, aye. And they grow bolder by the day. Crawl out to attack the living. We'll kill them all. Clear the mine with our swords in our hands. Honor our fathers in doing so. I'm a witcher. Could go with you and help. And steal the glory due us. No chance. Glory won't do much for you if ghouls are gnawing on your bones. Hmm. When you're thinking it, makes sense. Hmm. All right. You lead the way then. Ah! Okay. Drag the corpses outside. Burn them. Other ghouls don't scorn their cousins' corpses. Aye. True. It's good you came. Seems Freya watches over us to have let you here. We're grateful, and will be for long. <clears throat> Folk are generous with gratitude. Not so much with coin. Oh, hi. Sorry. Afterglow of the battle, we're still caught up. Damn you, slice them good. Here. For you. Thanks. Farewell. Grand those swords, but I prefer my trusty axe. His new I'll pay for you. you. Born from the village, barren whore. You best take that back. You defile sacred ground. The gods will never forgive you for this. Ye ain't welcome here, witch. <laughs> I could have married a continental man. Always did know how to win, friends. I was provoked. Mm-hmm. Saw it happen. Wanted to talk to me about something? Amos Far Ipsis. A specialist on jinns. Heard of him? I found a tome he'd penned in the Emperor's library. Far Ipsis set off for Skelliger one day and was never heard from again. I asked some of the local folk. Some here still remember him. They know what happened to him? The locals say they last saw his ship off the coast of Hindisfjall. Then a once in an eon storm broke. So he's probably fish food by now. Not necessarily. I must learn what became of him. Why? Do you know him? No. It's not the mage who interests me. It's his djinn. Why are you even interested? Djinns are dangerous sometimes, and malicious all the time. I remember. But the advantages outweigh the risks. If I can tame a djinn, I shall gain incredible power, and that could be useful to us one of these days. You sure this mage actually had a djinn? His book strongly suggests he did. He describes taming one, harnessing energy from its power. Storm wouldn't pose a threat if he'd had a djinn. He could just utter a wish. Perhaps he had none left, or something unexpected happened. Alright, so what exactly do you expect me to do? You must help me find this djinn. I've no gold to offer in reward, but I shall be ever so grateful. Since you put it that way, fine. I'll help you. Thank you. A boat awaits in the harbor. Come. It'll be easier going. Come again? See, you've managed to prepare everything already. I have. How could you possibly know I'd agree? I didn't. Decided to risk it. Leaves there the man. Here we go, watchers over the crown for your set. The blood of kings. 
Lead the way. Just once, you might try to take the initiative. Would you even let me? It would depend on the situation. The ship carrying the Jin sank somewhere in this area. Not too precise as leads go. I'll cast a spell on our boat. We'll know if there are any wrecks on the seafloor below us. All right, let's get to work. Mind if I take the helm? <sighs> I got a choice. No. I'm not sure this gin thing's a good idea. We managed to seize one before. Do you remember? Of course. Dandelion almost lost his voice that time. <laughs> how lucky your exorcism saved it. It was poetic. Yeah, how was I supposed to know that incantation meant be gone and plow yourself? You should have studied foreign languages. Gonna keep bringing that up for the rest of my life? Of course. Your last wish effectively assured it. My wish was about us being together always, not about you mocking my every mistake. Careful what you wish for. And when your wish is granted, you must accept it with all attendant circumstances. Yeah... And as for your missteps, I don't like you see why I shouldn't laugh if they're amusing. There's something here, on the bottom. It's too deep here. You can't dive that long. You underestimate me. On the contrary. After all, I asked you for help. I'll cast a spell. It will slow your heart for a time. You can stay submerged longer. Asad, I cried a rithorn. Ready. Careful down there. How's it going? Yeah, and you know I hate it when you read my mind. Strictly speaking, I'm not reading your mind, but using telepathy. Besides, you've nothing to hide, right? I wouldn't admit it if I did. Not the point. See anything interesting? A shipwreck in the cavern. I'll look inside. Snapped masts, busted planks, and a whole swarm of drowners. Probably drawn by the corpses of drowned crew, then made their nest here. There's also a Clan Drummond figurehead. Not the right ship. Come back up. Where to now? Wherever the leads take us. Say we find the Jin. What do we do? Ask for a beautiful house? And a palace? And a queen's crown? Are we still talking about the chin? Or have we moved on to a talking fish? Doesn't much matter. Both make wishes come true. What would yours be? You learn in due course. Something's here. Another wreck. Let's see if our gin's down there. Got a chest. Really old. Must have fell off the wrecked longship. Can you open it? Now that's what I call war booty. Have you found the gin? No, but I found something that could be just as valuable to me as the gin is to you. Got something. A Skelliger's buckler. Clan Hamai symbols. Donar's clan. Donar was a babe in swaddling clothes when this buckler landed here. stuck in the side. The kind pharaoh folk use. Yen, doubt any of these boats were the mages. These are old sunken longships. Come back then. We must search elsewhere.
You're getting better at this. Go even quicker if you helped me down there. I prefer to observe matters from the beginning, most definitely. Yeah, like when we were looking for the golden dragon and the avalanche swept us off the trail. Me clinging to the remains of a bridge for dear life. You gripping my waist, admiring the view. Remember, the chasm below us was breathtaking. Rustling trees, a lazily flowing stream. I remember. Though I found myself admiring what I had right in front of me. Something strange about those rocks. And there's something on the bottom. I'll see what it is. See something? Something doesn't do it justice. A huge crater, as if a meteorite landed here. I must see it. Diving in after all? No, I shall cast another spell. To see through your eyes. Now relax. I soon fall to your badem ein achter illivade. That is no meteorite crater. What is it then? The effect of teleportation. A powerful force cut out a fragment of the seabed, rocks and everything lying within the teleportation zone. Always claimed portals were dangerous. I believe we're on the right track. Look for anything that might contain a gin. Fine, but get out of my eyes. Too cramped in here for a I mm -hmm. see fall to cut this basket exactly in half. Elevate. Hmm, something cut this basket exactly in half. No gin here, but there's something you ought to like. What? Half a seal. That'll do. Come back up. Only found half. Can you do anything with this? I can use it to locate the other half, to within a dozen yards. And once we find that, we should find the gin. Exactly. Ready? I'll take us there on the count of three. Oh, no, not another portal. Stop whining. One, two... Look, we must search the area. Yen, not so fast. Gotta tell me what this is about first. Why do you want this djinn? But you already know. A djinn's power is priceless to a mage. That I know. But I also want to know how you plan to use it. Wouldn't go to these lengths if it wasn't something important. You're right. It's important. Even very important. <sighs> How long has this been going on, Geralt? This thing between us? Fifteen, twenty years? We repeatedly split up, then return to one another. Something draws us to each other, but I can never be certain if it's a true feeling or merely a bit of mischief by a djinn. So that's it? This is about my last wish? You asked that djinn to bind us together forever. I want to ask this one to take that wish back. I get it. You want to know what'll happen if magic no longer binds us. I want to know if when the Jinn's magic is gone, if we've any magic left of our own. Hmm. Wondered that myself many times. You see? We're just a step away from learning the truth. Come, let's search the ship. was quite the eccentric, asking the djinn to lift half his ship to a mountaintop. He didn't necessarily. Djinns are inherently mischievous. This one might have granted his wish and perverted it in doing so. In that case, I'd appreciate it if you didn't wish I'd disappear from your life. I've yet to decide how to word it. We should explore the ship.
Nice shoes. Looks like the impact with the mountain was so powerful it popped the wearer right out of them. Blood. Someone was dragged across the deck. War left this mark when the ship suddenly tipped to one side. Mage must have slept here. Yen, think you should see this. What do you have? It's Amos. Looks exactly like the etching in the book. Except his head was intact there. Think the djinn did this to him? No, it wouldn't attack its master. This looks rather like an unfortunate accident. When the storm broke, Amos must have uttered a wish like, take us away anywhere, to a mountaintop even. And the djinn granted the wish literally. They had a hard landing. Amos was thrown off his feet and against the wall. The bookcase did the rest. Always knew too much studying could kill you. If he died while being teleported, Seal might still be on him. Behold. Bravo! Come to the deck. I've an idea. Summon and tame the djinn. It's not likely to be happy. Stand at the ready. Ken djinn. Rif kaishta en gaya. Kaishta et disglaer. Givered me kassel. over. Yes. It's all over. Maybe we should sit. You look a bit dazed. I'm not, but we can sit. Feel any better? I told you, I'm fine. Don't need to play tough for me. That was a hard fight. Maybe not as hard as the last time we tamed a djinn, but still. <laughs> no comparison, I'm afraid. Half of Rhind suffered then. Now I'm merely a bit tired. Thank you for coming, Geralt. 
I'd have had a much harder time of it on my own. Well, never could say no to you. Hmm. Perhaps that will change now. Feel anything? That anything's different? Hmm. I expected... I don't know what I expected, actually. A bit of vertigo, perhaps. I thought... you'd become a stranger to me. That I'd look at you and not feel a thing. But it's not like that at all. Nothing's changed. Jin might have cheated us after all. Why? Because I don't feel that anything's changed either. I love you, Yen. And I love you. Was that? It can't be all sweetness and light. Strange. Done that so many times. But it felt like our first kiss to me. It was in a way. Besides, once you say I love you, a kiss has to taste differently. Maybe we ought to test a few other things. Amos's cabin looked cozy. Not so fast, Geralt. We'll have plenty of time to visit cozy cabins later. But I doubt the world will end if we sit here a while. <sighs> My, it's lovely. Mm -hmm. I think the spirits of Skellige favor us. Showed him, didn't I? Seen sirens around here before? Aye, of course. They fly in from Unvik, the isle cursed by the gods. Damn she beasties. But enough chatter. My brother awaits. Thanks for the help, stranger. Your gods grant ye health. The sea hurled ashore. Hey, you! What clan are you from? No clan. I'm from the continent. Skellige warriors alone drink in this town. Not looking for trouble. <laughs> Look at him. Raise your voice and his tail slinks between his legs, like a dog who's heard a wolf howl at the moon. Looking to eat? Wait out in the yard then. Till ill tosses what's left in our bowls or the fence. Whosoever denies shelter to a traveler, disgraces himself, and brings shame on his clan. Your dad's teach you nothing. Don't you talk to me about me dad, Yorant, or I'll tuck you in, Nita Barra. 
And you remember this, stranger. This here's not Kerr Trolda. And we's not on crate. Guests are not welcome. You don't mind the occasional traveler? I mind fools, no matter where they're from. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. Jorant, son of Sigvald. If you've no one to drink with, sit down with me. Share some mead and a teal. Geralt. I don't often raise such a hubbub. You must rarely get guests from the continent. Aye, true. When a Redanian or Tamarian grows the stones to come to Skellige, they usually go ashore at Kertrolda. Port's good there. Merchants are plenty. And the Jarl's right merciful to continentals. Those two boys, the pesky ones, who were they? Cory and Cracky. Only ever troublesome, as is their father, Leif. He interesting in some way? Depends. If it's liars and cards that interest you, then very much so. Saw your notice. Pretty bare. Can you tell me more about the beast? It's a ghost, I think. Or some other nightmare. Haunts Elberg near the lighthouse. Started harmless. Lighthouse just stopped burning one night. Without that light, ships can't make Aaron Bjorn safely, so we sent two men to see what had happened. I may guess. They didn't come back. Nay, they didn't. Mikyel, the lightkeeper, he'd also gone missing. So I gathered some lads, a rescue party, and off we sealed. As we neared the isle, I hit the rudder hard and turned round. I'd seen a wraith on shore. Must think me a coward. Will crude steel it not do as much good there? I felt it in me bones. All I could think to do was to gather gold round the village for a reward. Help us, and it's yours. Fine. See what I can do. Thank you, Geralt. You're a good sort. Ought to be said. Hey there! Master Witcher! Over here! Whew. Good you're here. So, what'll it be? Will you help old Nidus find a black pearl for his wife? I'd like it done already. Humidity's unkind to my bones. They've started creaking. Let's go. But get ready for them to creak some more. Not likely to find pearls where it's dry. True. But I survived worse during the war. At Rosrock, we fought waist deep in the swamp and... Ah, wasted my breath. History don't mean a wit to youngsters. Come on, Pearl Grounds aren't far now. Quite the spring in your step for a man your age. Ah, uh, have you seen me in my prime? Thirty miles a day I did in full dress. This is the place. They say dive down here and you'll see the oyster beds all around. Problem is, not all hold pearls, and the black ones are a real rarity. But search long enough and you're sure to find one. Ah, so I'm supposed to do the diving? Well, you see, I've been in the infantry all my life, so I'm not one for water. And my lungs ain't what they used to be, so, uh, yeah. Huh. Customer's always right. The eternal five.
Damn it. Splashing must have attracted them. You all right? Uh, nicked in a few places. But if I pull through after sod, I'll survive this too. So, any luck? Black Pearl, just like you wanted. Beautiful. Rare. Like my letter. Well, as Constable Natalis would say, you've earned a medal. Or better yet, a week's leave in a brothel. Coin will be fine. Oh, yes, um, <clears throat> about that. Uh, listen, I, I feel right foolish, but, well, I, I didn't bring any coin with me. Wise. Wasn't it? Even the high roads are dangerous now. Not what they once were. We'll meet in Novigrad. I'll pay you to the last copper. Foot soldiers honor. Hey, anyone there? Uh, how did you get here? What do you think? It is an island. You, Mikyal, the lightkeeper? Jorand from Erenbjorn sent me. Where'd all those wraiths come from? Last saw something like this near Vergen when... From nowhere. That's just it. Fire went out and wind died of a sudden. That's how it started. Came out here for oil, stepped out of the house, looked up, saw the mist rising. Then the ghost showed. Came straight at me. Bolted back inside, hosped the door, and then I heard it. Someone whispered me name. Miguel. Miguel. I look out. There's the ray. Big bugger. Bigger than the rest. And cold flowing from it. Such cold, the windows frosted o'er. This wraith, the big one. Tell me more. It, it, it seemed more clever than the others. Like it knew. Knew everything. Haven't helped much, have I? Sorry. Only saw it once. It disappeared right after. These ghosts didn't appear without reason. Something brought him here. Any ideas? No clue. There's nothing here. The lighthouse. Me hot just rocks besides. Even bloody drowners know there's nothing for them on Elberg. Strange. Need to look around. Here. This key opens the lighthouse. You know, in case you want to look inside, or you need to run from something. Symbols of a bonding. Manifestations of ill will. Focused, concentrated. So it's a curse. A curse that keeps the specters here. A penitent. Good thing it hasn't appeared to me yet. Couldn't possibly kill it in this mist and darkness. Need that lighthouse working again. If Mikiel's the cursed one, the curse binds him to this place. He's the only one who can light the fire that'll break the curse. Phew. It's just you. Learn anything? Islands haunted by a penitent. Spectre punishes the guilty for crimes, foul deeds. What? I'm the only one lives here. And I've hurt no one. Trouble not a soul. We'll come back to that later. Just now I need your help. But, but what? I'm no warrior. Guessed that already. But a curse grips both you and this place, and only you can lift it. Luckily, all you gotta do is light the fire in the lighthouse. Penitent's invincible as long as darkness covers the island. I... I, I can't go outside. It'll kill me. I can f feel it. Mayhaps you could. I'll escort you. Now, no excuses. Grab some oil and let's go, before I change my mind. Look! There! It's him! I see it. Now shut your mouth and go light the fire. Remember, you fail, the penitent will kill me and come for you. Damn, you're ugly. Hurry up. Don't know how much longer I can manage this.
Did it work? It did. Still don't know what brought the penitent here, though. You'd best be careful. I'd gladly thank you with words and gold. It's just my coin pouch is empty. I know the feeling. So long. Hi, Geralt. I killed the monster from the lighthouse. It was a penitent, very dangerous specter, and very rare. Why did it ever appear on Eldberg? It's been a peaceful island always. Even sirens haven't nested there. Someone committed a crime there, did something terrible. Never mind that. Let's talk about my reward. Aye, yes, got it right here. Earned every last coin you did. And a round. Cheers to your health. So long. for Skellige Mead, Vagrant. It's not bad, thanks. Huh. Then get yourself a cake for the road. And fuck off. I see you lads still don't understand the law of hospitality. Tough. Seems like guts to pound it into you. Relax, Joran. It's just banter. Weak, but still. Nay. We're serious. Dead serious. And foolish as colts that graze on Hemlock. But I'll put you straight. Are some miserable shits. Stay calm. Get you a healer. No point. Uh, pierce me lung. I'll drown in my own blood or too long. Pour a nip off for me at times. For Yorant, son of Sigvald. Who lived honorable and died. sons and you killed them you ended my line sorry but i didn't start it does this stranger speak the truth who first drew a blade don't know it happened fast and we were a few horns in your son showed no respect for the law if not for your end, something would have happened first time around. There's a blood sphere between Yorin's family and mine. Makes no difference what he did or said. Don't want any more bloodshed, but I'll defend myself if I have to. You'll make your defense before the Jarl. Only if Madman Lugos calls you innocent will you be free to go. I'm to be judged by somebody you yourselves call Madman? That, or fight the whole village? And you'll never defeat us all. Not with three swords, you won't. Fine. Lead the way. Just had to stop by that damn tavern. Cave one 
these days. Make our escape. You, Drifter. Where'd you get your scars? Look at him cast his eyes about searching for an escape. But there ain't none to be found. <laughs> Safe for talking. You bored? Grab a pickaxe. But see, Lugos said my trial would be today. Don't remember? Oh, aye. Right. Uh, come on. My land gets back to the times of Uben the Great. This dog ended it. He's gonna die. I passed judgment here, Leif. Remember that. But he's a vagrant, a foreigner. He don't deserve a trial, not even death by the sword. He... Now go on. I want to hear this. Geralt, didn't think I'd see you again so soon. You invited me to your lands, Lugos. Said I'd find work here. Aye, killing monsters, not men. Let's get to it. Leif claims you killed his sons, Cory and Kraki. What do you see to that? Fought to defend myself, and your end. None came forth to confirm your words. And none will. Always easier to hang an outsider than to try one of your own, right? Ha! Huh. Tongue as sharp as your blades. Sharp? He insults me, Arnie. Insults our whole clan. The Codex of Ancestors says... Quiet! I've made my decision. Gerald of Rivia, I find ye guilty on two counts of murder. Punishment's death by suffocation. But you can buy your way out by paying Cory and Crocky's weight in silver. Let me pay in installments. Witchers live long. Dare say I'll pay it off eventually, end of the next century or so. I have a better idea. I'll pay the blood price myself. What? That's against every law. I make the laws here. Go home late, because if you rail me, I'll tie this bag of silver round your neck and toss you in the sea. Nice gesture, though I'm guessing it doesn't come free. Tell me, Witcher, have you any honor? I do. I paid Leif on your behalf. That puts you in my debt, a debt of pride. You ought to do as I say. So, listen carefully. My lad, Blue Boy Lugos, has ventured out, but not against the Black Ones, nor to loot a convent got the notion to go to the Cave of Dreams, south side of the Isle, and none return from there. You're clever and good with a sword, two traits that rarely go together. So, you're to help him. I need an heir, no matter his metal. Take your things and do as I say, or lose your dignity and good name for all time. Greetings, traveler. Got back your stolen horn, and I, uh, killed the thieves. Shame that. They weren't evil men. Didn't give me a choice. Where's my reward? Take it. And next time, slay some damn monsters. <laughs>